In example 3, we will want to find y in terms of x for this then. So before I manipulate the, the log over here, I first want to simplify. So this can be simplified to become L, okay, the power of x and x. Okay, so let me just leave it untouched. In the next step, to get rid of log on both uh, on the left, I will take base 10, okay, both on both sides of the equation. Okay, finally, I will want to shift this one over to the right hand side. But before I do that, let me just simplify what I see on the right. Okay, so 10 to the power of 2 minus log x or log root x, okay, can be broken up to look like this 10 square over 10 to the power of log root x. Okay, so just in case you've forgotten, let me do a side working over here 10 to the power of log root x is simply just root x. Why? Because remember that if log y is equals to um, 7 for example, okay sorry, if log x is equal, log y is equals to x for example, then y is just equals to 10 to the power of x. Okay, so same for this case. So if, if, uh, if log x okay 10 to the power of log x will just give you log it will just give you root x okay so over here this will give me 100 over root x and finally y is just 100 over root x minus 1 okay let's move on to example 4 in example 4 we will be applying two strategies the first one would be to apply law number eight as you can see over here so let me apply law number eight to the right hand side of the equation so this can be written as one over log three y okay and the next thing i'm going to do i will multiply both sides by log three y so this will just give me log three y square equals to one okay and from here by taking square root both sides, I'll have log 3y equals to 1 or log 3 of y equals to negative 1. Okay. Then finally, to solve for y, I will be applying law number 1. So y is just 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. And in this case, y is equals to 3 to the power of negative 1. Okay, and 3 to the power of negative 1 is just one third. It's two answers for y. Okay, so just to summarize, for these chapters, you need to be very familiar with the 8 laws of logarithm. If you're unsure of how to use any of these 8 laws, please uh, watch the previous video. There is a summary on how to use each law. And I would strongly advise that you have all this okay, already internalized before the examinations. Okay, let me leave you with some practice questions. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, log on to pencilcollege.com.